Hi everyone, happy Thursday. So late yesterday afternoon, I finally got my paper pumpkin box for February and it is called Lovely Day. And I'm excited to get this. So today I'm just gonna do the unboxing and I have peaked, but I haven't opened, opened it. Um, so I'm gonna do the unboxing today and um, make as intended. And then on Sunday morning, come back and watch because both Stamp Girl, S-T-M-P-G-R-L, who is Paige, and I will be posting videos share, sharing our alternative makes with the Paper Pumpkin Kit. So, here we go. Are you ready? I need to get a piece of white paper, actually. One second. Okay, this is Whisper White Thick, just because the stamp set will be easier to see. I'm going to move this over this way. Okay, so when you open it, you get this Celebrate Lovely Coordination, and it's talking about a stamp set, which I do have right here. It's in the Celebration catalog. It's called Happy Birthday to You, and apparently this kit coordinates with this stamp set. Now, this stamp set also has a Celebration coordination item available right now which is the dies to go with that i do not have those so i won't be using those but i'm anxious to see what all is in here and i haven't oh and on the back it says don't miss a free stamp set next month so if you're interested in paper pumpkin the box is going to be cute uh it did come in shrink wrap by the way they started doing shrimp shrink wrap around their boxes and it is in much better condition than the last several i received but i got it <laughs> You know what, let's see, they mail it on around the 11th, and I got it on the 19th. So that was kind of frustrating for me, because I've been seeing people posting alternatives for like four or five days now. I'm like, how do they get there so fast? They must like live right next to the shipping station or something. I don't know. Anyway, if you're interested in the next month's kit, you have to sign up by March 10th. There's a link below my video. It says if you're if you'd like paper pumpkin sign here, or you can go to the main Stampin' Up link to also down below for my uh, web link, and do a prepaid three, six, or twelve months would get you a celebration item. So if you want to do that and get the level one celebration item for that stamp I just showed you, happy birthday to you, you could do that um, now this kit with the cake um is not available anymore unless you sign up and if they have some extras um you know once everybody gets theirs they'll see if they have any extra kits and then they'd be available but only to subscribers so you have to sign up for the next one to be able to get past kits okay so that's that and then we get a rococo rose stampin spot yay cute 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 and then here is the stamp set since it has rococo rose oh it has this beautiful flower isn't that pretty i do love that flower and then like some stripes this says wishes this says have a uh you're a great reason to and celebrate and then lovely so have a lovely birthday and remember this is called lovely day and then we have some what appear to be crocuses. I love crocuses. Yay, I'm so happy to get those. And a, a slice of cake. So the stamp set it coordinates with, happy birthday to you, has the whole cake, <laughs> right? And then this has a slice of that cake with little flowers on it. And then this looks like the same kind of flower that they have on here, only possibly bigger, yeah, bigger. I like the flower and you can use the flower without the cake right so hmm, yeah so let's open the rest and again i peeked but i didn't um take it out even it's still in the plastic so they that answers that question i had will they still be shrink wrapping the contents and yes the answer is they do so this is lovely day instructions and it looks like it makes nine cards um three of each design looks like the envelopes have stripes in them and are rounded which is cute and pretty peacock 
Well, we're going to have to see the matching colors. This looks like an olive green almost, or granny apple green. And I'm guessing this may be rich raspberry, but let's just check. Let's just check. I like pretty peacock. And um, rich raspberry is pretty too. I'm not sure what the other color is, so let's find out. Oh, Rococo Rose, obviously, has to be in here. But I didn't see that in the envelope, so that's funny. Okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing these pretty little sequins. Those are pretty. All right. I'm going to pull this out, and we're going to look at the back, where it always tells you what your kit includes. So we have the stamp set and the ink spot. And we get nine cards and printed envelopes. So let's look for the cards. Now these, um, I don't think those are the cards. Hang on, here we go. These are the cards. So we have Pretty Peacock. These are regular size cards, A2. And there's three of them, so that's cool. Now that's interesting because it's on the front and the back. Ah, with white inside. And then we have this one, and we'll check the color in a minute. I do think this is Rich Razzleberry. And there's three of those. And there has to be another, yeah. And then I guess we have three, hmm, let me see. <laughs> this is interesting. So these are like folded like a fun fold card with a slot in it. Oh, that's interesting. And that's, um, looks like petal pink. All right, let's look at the colors. Petal pink, yep. Pool party, haven't found that yet. Pretty peacock, rich raspberry, yep. Rococo rose, which are the little X's on here, I think. And old olive, so I was right about the old olive. So that's different, you get that design three this design three and then this design which is a fun fold kind of card three okay then you get die cut labels it doesn't say how many but there's two sheets of these and they look like rose gold foiling again wow and then the envelopes we didn't do the envelopes hang on so we have three in petal pink i think with rich raspberry and they're like a policy envelope that's cool and then these are huh it almost looks like soft sea foam but they don't say that and then old olive maybe it's just a light old olive and then party with i'm guessing pretty peacock yep which of course is my favorite because i love blue and i love pretty peacock but anyway and then Printed die cut images. So we have a slice of cake, a flower. We have two of those, I guess three of those. We have labels with banners. Okay, the banner punches out, but the rest does not. So that it will make for an interesting card as well. And then Huh. We have this like faded watercolor. These are beautiful. Sort of a faded watercolor, which I'm guessing you could put behind, but I wouldn't want to bury that. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, what is this called? It doesn't really, I guess these are die cut, printed die cut images would be some of that. So that's that, that, and these. And then we have foam, foil foam word stickers. Oh, that's neat. So they're already foam and they punch out. And they're stickers. So like that. So they already have dimension. That's pretty cool. I've never seen those in a kit before. And then we have a stray sequin and dimensionals and glue dots. And sequins I already showed you okay let me um, move this stuff over and we're gonna come back and make one of each 
as intended and um, so if you're new to paper pumpkin you can see how it is done or how I do it um, the instructions are always on the inside they're pictorial plus words um, most of the time honestly I go just by looking at these I might glance at this but it also has a ruler now there's no twine or anything in here so I don't think we need a ruler for this one so let us begin let me get organized and I'll come back and we'll make it together stay tuned hi everyone I'm back so um, I got all the pieces out for all three cards we're supposed to make and the first step in the instructions is to stamp your various sentiments on the labels as well as stamp your cake layers and also the flowers on here and there's two different flowers we need for that so I've gotten everything out and ready now in your kit there is a cake slice image but that is not what they're referring to here in the instructions because you already have a cake image you get this thing that looks like bars that's the cake slices so they're intending you to take your rococo rose ink it up good i'm using the full size one and then just um, line this up if i may and this is not my best thing to ever do but that's what they're intending you to do so there you have your i think red velvet cake right <laughs> so anyway um and that's all you have to do to the cake image so let's do our flowers next over here let me move this out of the way and then we'll do our sentiments last so on the floral uh, i'm going to bring in my um what do you call this thing piercing mat and I'm just gonna lay this on top just so because these are photopolymer I want to get a really good image now let me see how this lines up it'll just line up like this something like that let me make sure I get that top leaf okay like that but then that's off something like that maybe just down a tad like that okay so let's get our stamp inked up with rococo rose which is what you have in your kit i'm just using the full size like i said and line these up so that they're over the green pretty well top one is being a problem for me it doesn't have to be perfect it's meant to be like watercolory that looks pretty good okay there isn't that beautiful oh my gosh that's so gorgeous and then there's this uh, flower and they have that in the picture which I'll show you they have that sort of coming out the top up here so we're going to do the same thing and let's see I bet right in that yep right in that indent here they're coming up like this and there we go isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh this is so pretty so pretty and that's all we have to do to that and then um for the third card there is only sentiment stamping so let's do our sentiments and we'll actually let's start with this one since i have it right here now on this one this is like a triple banner they have a word going in the middle so i'm thinking um we want the have a to be sort of centered here and up a little bit towards the top and birthday um just a little bit over and down towards the bottom because they have one of the bumped up foam uh, words in between those two so we need have a which i've got on a small block obviously if you just have your paper pumpkin block you can um just use that and keep taking them off so there's have a and then lovely will be in the middle and birthday goes down the bottom so there's that one beautiful 
and then for the for the light uh, one with pretty peacock all they stamped is birthday and they have it on this banner like this so we're going to do that and we're going to try and center that pretty well yeah actually maybe even a little to the left and it's a little bit crooked but we're going with it and then the longest one which I'll probably have the most trouble with. And I put this down on my grid paper and then picked it up. Just make sure you have it right side up. <laughs> this is going to take up most of this banner and it's not flagged at all. So let's see how we do. And it says, you're a great reason to. Beautiful. All right, guys. So let me close my ink pad up because that is all the stamping we have to do in this particular case. Ooh, sorry. Um, so let's assemble the flower one first and get this out of the way. Get my stamps out of the way. I will clean them immediately after this. Okay, so all we have to do on this one is glue this down. Now, they say to put it down with dimensional, so we're going to go ahead and do that for the card fronts. I'm using a piece that's already um, open, you know, my own, and I put my ones from the kit in with my other stash, and I'm going to put some down the middle too. So I'm using quite a lot. You should have plenty with what's in your kit. And you don't have to put that many on. I just don't want my center of it to be saggy since it's a whole card front. So we'll just peel these off. And I'm doing this for if you're a beginner and if you're new to the kit and you're like, ooh, I don't understand. Something this, they make it pretty easy for you. But then you can use the stamp set and the ink and any leftover bits you have for a long time. And you'll see, I'm only gonna make three, you know, these three cards as intended. And then we'll definitely be making some alternatives. Ugh, gosh. And I'll try not to, I'll try to make some of those fairly simple as well. I think it also said to bump this up. I might be wrong about that, let me check. Because to me, I would glue that down. Uh, foam foil stickers. Okay, yeah. The, the flower and the stamp labels with glue dots. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I don't usually do that with glue dots. But um, I'm going to use my take your pick tool to scrape them off. Normally I would use maybe snail or even wet glue. So you can do however you choose. Glue dots are strong. Um, so they would hold well, I'm sure. To me, they just take longer to, to put on. <laughs> but um, yeah, so now we'll peel those little stickers off. Excuse me for sniffling. I seem to have woken up with the sniffles which is bad because I had to babysit later today and I don't I hope I'm not I think it's just morning sniffles so placement wise I think I'm going to put it right about here so you can see the center of that flower right there okay and then we need to punch out lovely which is a foam sticker. That's pretty cool. I've not gotten those before. So if you were doing these on your own, you would be having to die cut them and then layer them, layer the, and um, die cut the foam and layer it. And now see, I didn't quite get the placement of that good because if I do that, you cover up part of the birthday. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Uh-oh. Well, maybe we'll put it over this way. That way I don't cover anything up. There we go. That's what we'll do. Have a lovely birthday. See? Never a mistake, right? Now, the only other thing we had to do is put sequins on there, but we'll do that last on all the cards. 
So let's do this one next. Now I already punched this out. Save that. That's beautiful. We can use that for something else, right? So if, I think it said to put this down with dimensionals, but I'm going to put it down with glue dots because we're going to put this down with dimensionals over it. And I don't want the other piece popped up as well. And I might use wet glue on this, quite honestly. Um, yeah, they don't, they didn't color anything in on it. Actually, it looks like they might have colored in a little bit of the flowers, but um, I can do that later if I want to. But I'm going to do it the way they have it because I would at least put the candle colored and maybe these flowers. So that looks to be about right. You just have to make sure it'll be centered in there. Let me pull that up. I'm going to get my wet glue because I... I'm going to hold this down in place and just put some wet glue under, bending it a little bit, but, and then I'll lift the other side up because I want to make sure I don't move it out of, out of place. You have to make sure it's going to show through that window, right? And that's about it on that. And then we put this up on dimensionals again. All right, so we'll put one up here, and one here, one here, and here. And then we're going to do right about here, and here, and then two in the middle. Well, actually three in the middle. Okay. Yeah, you could just use four uh, or six, you know, one on along the edges, but I just like, like I said, to put them in the middle. And I hope you're having a good week this week. I'm just so happy I got my paper pumpkin and it was in good shape and everything's in it that's supposed to be and yay. And I've never had that a problem with anything missing, actually. So... All right, now we just want to get that centered again. And that looks pretty good. Am I on pretty straight? Yes, yay. And then we have stamped our birthday. They have it about here, but we need to get wishes out. I'm going to leave the sticky on the back for a minute. And... That's just good. This one's a little easier because you only have one. And you would do something like that. So, let's put this. I think they have this glued down with dots. So, let's do that. Now, we're only going to put the dots. Let's see. I'm going to use a dimensional here. I'm going to use a mini dimensional. You could use a big one and cut it in half. But Stampin' Up! sells these minis. And I'm going to put that right about here. And then we'll use blue dots over here. I take your pick tool. <laughs> Thingy jobber. And then I'll put one more over here. Nope, over here, down on the bottom. Okay. Um, and I'm only putting this one on here because the uh, mini because this is bumped up and so to have that in here oop, 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 in here see if you get it right away you can fix it there we go but you since that's already bumped up you don't need dots there but you do over there okay like that and then wishes we just peel the backing off and placement placement right about there so there we have it. That's card number two. These are pretty simple. And then here's the envelope for that. And then the last one, oh, excuse me, is this one. Now this one, all you have to do is punch this out. The tricky thing with this is, um, 
and I think they put this down with the dots. I might glue it, honestly. Um, let me see. Let's make sure. Uh, na, na, na. Adhere die cut flower and stamp labeled card using adhesive dots. Yeah, they did not bump, bump that up. Tip, avoid placing adhesive to the far left of the die cut flower and label. And the reason for that is because it pops open like that. So you don't want to interfere with the mechanism that does that, right? So we're going to make sure we don't. Let me get my bone folder too and just press that down real good. So this color is Rococo Rose and these little X's in here and then the background is petal pink. This is Rich Ravelberry and Old Olive. Really pretty. So I'm going to just use wet glue, guys. Um, you can use your glue dots, but for the sake of time on video. <laughs> okay. Just do that. And I did not put any there, so I'm going to make sure the leaves, there's no glue covering where the mechanism whoops, will go. And then same with this. We're going to put it over to this side. And this says... Um, you're a great reason to just put that here and then we pull out celebrate great reason to celebrate um, and I don't want to cover up any of the words, so I'm going to have part of the label showing behind. Not the straightest one. And let me make sure, see, that pops open just fine. So there you go. There's card number three. What fun. Fun, pretty cards. Great for spring. I'm in the mood for spring, aren't you? That's pretty. And I learned a new style card <laughs> and how to do it from the kit how about that i learned a new fun fold so we have our birthday wishes oh we didn't put our sequins on sequins now it says to put them on with the mini glue dots um, they probably would hold really good but i'm gonna probably use a dab of fine tip glue just to save time um and it is not a Stampin' Up! product, but uh, Stampin' Up! does have fine tip glue product as well. Okay, so let's do this one first. Let's see. Let's place them. Let's place them. We have one here. And one here. Maybe a little one. Thinking down here. No, where'd it go? It's on my finger. I think like that. Okay, so let's do that. I think that's beautiful. Now the glue dots, obviously, um, you don't have to let them dry. This I have to let dry for a couple of minutes. So I just won't put anything on top of it right away. Um, this glue is fast drying, however, so it won't take long. Hmm, if I can get it unstuck from my finger. There we go. So I'm just going to set that aside for a moment over here. And then birthday wishes. Let's see where we want some. We need something, a big one maybe, down here. Let's just put a couple on here and see. Here's the big ones. And... Maybe a little bigger one there, too. And a little one up here somewhere. Actually, I'm going to do a big one and take the little one off there. I think we'll do like that on this one. So let me do that. I like to use um, odd numbers. I just think it's more pleasing to the eye. Oops. <laughs> if it'll cooperate with me. You can use your take your pick tool to pick them up. The problem I have with some of these little ones, especially, um, I have trouble getting them off the putty 
without using another tool to help with that. So it does help pick them up. I might need a little more glue on that one. Nope, there it goes. Okay. Okay. And that's that one. We'll set that back here. And then lastly, we have this one. Beautiful. I think we need something over here. <laughs> We're just stuck on me. Let me just do that while I have it. Now, if you needed a lot of quick cards, you don't, you don't have to do alternates. You can make all nine cards just the way it's intended. You will still have labels, lots of labels left. And um, uh, you won't have any cut aparts left if you make everything as intended here. I'm going to put one right here. Um, this time around you won't have any more flowers or birthday cakes although you have a stamp to make birthday cakes so there's that one so let me bring everything back in and just show the finished cards as intended so like i said come back on sunday morning or, or anytime sunday and stamp girl and i are going to have our alternative projects up for you using this beautiful kit from um, Paper Pumpkin made by Stampin' Up. So, and it's, uh, if you're interested, it is $22 a month plus tax, whatever tax you have in your area. The shipping's included in the month to month. If you do the prepaid, uh, shipping is not included, but if you place it on your regular Stampin' Up order and order other things, then you save on shipping that way. And especially for the six and 12 months, you still do save like with the 12 month subscription, A, you'll get, um, I think it's two of the level one celebration items or one of the level one celebration items um, for free if you do the 12 month subscription. And let's see, I think you also end up getting the 12th month free for that box. So that is a good deal six months you do save as well but not as much as the other one so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and do come back on sunday and see our alternatives and we'll talk to you then bye for now hugs love and peace